Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters, and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We begin our celebration. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. O God, who wonderfully created the dignity of human nature and still more wonderfully restored it, grant, we pray, that we may share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The invitation to break out together in song originally addressed to the exiles before they returned to Jerusalem is addressed to us today. God's gifts of salvation and peace are offered to all in Jesus Christ. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him who brings glad tidings, announcing peace bearing good news, announcing salvation, and saying to Zion, Your God is King. Hark, your sentinels raise a cry. Together they shout for joy, for they see directly before their eyes the Lord restoring Zion. Break out together in song, O ruins of Jerusalem. For the Lord comforts his people. He redeems Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his holy arm in the sight of all the nations. All the ends of the earth will behold the salvation of our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has made him salvation known in the sight of the nations he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song. Sing praise. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing praise to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and melodious song, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. All the ends of the earth have seen the singing power of God. 
Here is a beautiful synthesis of all that we believe about Jesus Christ, the eternal Son of God, who came a human being for our salvation. A reading from the beginning of the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, in times past, God spoke in partial and various ways to our ancestors through the prophets. In these days, He has spoken to us through the Son, whom He made ear of all things, and through whom He created the universe, who is the refulgence of His glory, the very imprint of His being, and who sustains all things by His mighty word. When He had accomplished purification from sins, He took His seat at the right hand of the Majesty on high, as far superior to the angels, as the name He has inherited is more excellent than theirs. For to which of the angels did God ever say, You are my son, this day I have begotten you. Or again, I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. And again, when he leads the firstborn into the world, he says, Let all the angels of God worship him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. A holy day has dawned upon us. Come, you nations, and adore the Lord. For today, a great light has come upon the earth. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came to be through Him, and without Him nothing came to be. What came to be through Him was life. And this life was the light of the human race. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came to be through him. But the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, but to his own people, did not accept him. But to those who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God. To those who believe in his name, who were born not by natural generation, nor by human choice, nor by a man's decision, but of God. And the Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we saw his glory the glory as of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Maligayang Pasko po sa ating lahat. Do you see what I see? Do you hear what I hear? Sa saya po na nararamdaman ko, gusto kong umawit. Ang saya kasi, hindi ko ma-imagine na magkakatipon-tipon ulit tayo ng ganito. At some point, during the past years, I was doubting. I was thinking, paano pa kaya natin malalagpasan ang sitwasyon na ito? And there were even times 
that when I stand here in front of the church, in front of the congregation, and I say to them, wag po kayo mag-alala, makakabangon tayo, makakabalik tayo sa kung saan man tayo dati. There were even times like that na hindi ko alam kung mangyayari talaga. And here we are now, gathered together, jam-packed, full pack ang ating simbahan to celebrate Christmas together as a church. This experience, my dear brothers and sisters, is truly Christmas. Christmas as a Passover. Because that is what Christmas is. It's a Passover. It's a Pasch. Pasqua. Pasco. Meron tayong tinawid. At yung tinawid natin na sitwasyon hindi madali. Mabigat, mahirap, mapait, masakit. Kaya masaya tayo kasi natawid natin yung sitwasyon na yon. Nakakapagtipon-tipon tayo ulit ng ganito. Nakakapagdiwang tayo ng Pasko together, sama-sama. Paskong Pasko talaga ang pakiramdam ko. Kayo po, masaya po ba? Do you see what I see? Do you hear what I hear? Nakita po ba natin na tayo ay nakatawid? Tayo ay tunay na nagdiriwang ng Pasko. Kaya na siguro, sa karanasan natin ito, na tayo ay nakatawid, tayo ay nakapagdiwang ng tunay na Pasko sa mga buhay natin, madaling makarelate, o madaling maintindihan ang unang Pasko, ang original Christmas. Because that original Christmas, my dear brothers and sisters, was also a Passover, isa din pagtatawid. Sa mahabang panahon, ang mga tao naghintay sa Diyos sa mahabang panahon, ang mga tao umasa na dumating na ang kanilang manliligtas. At sa gabi ng Pasko, isinilang ang manliligtas. Ipinadala ng Diyos ang kanyang bugtong anak upang itawid ang tao sa kahirapan na dinadanas niya sa korupsyon na pinagdadaanan niya sa kanyang lipunan. Sa korupsyon na pinagdadaanan niya sa kanyang espiritual na buhay. Nakita ng Diyos ang pagkauhaw ng tao. Nakita ng Diyos ang pagkagutom ng tao sa presensya ng Diyos. Kaya itinawid niya sa pamamagitan ng kanyang bugtong na anak isinilang ang ating Pasko. Ngunit alam natin na nung pagkasilang ng Diyos, marami ang nagsabi o meron ang nagsabi, ito na ba ang magtatawid sa atin? Ito ba ang Mesiyas? Sanggol lamang yan. Ano ang magagawa ng sanggol? Kahit pa sinasabi nating Diyos ang sanggol na yan, ano ang magagawa niya sa pinagdadaanan nating hirap, mapait, mabigat, at masakit na kinalalagyan? Kapag tinitignan natin yung mga sanggol, nakakatuwa, ano? Di ko alam kung anong meron sa sanggol o sa baby na kapag ka nakita mo, 
gumagaan ang pakiramdam mo. Nagiging masaya ka. Kaya nga siguro pag Christmas, ang laging pinagtutuunan ng ating pansin o binibuhusan natin ng ating mga biyaya, yung mga baby, o yung mga sanggol, o yung mga bata. Na nakakatuwa. Nakakagaan ng pakiramdam. Ngunit, kahit na ganun, alam natin na ang mga batang yan, ang mga baby na yan, are all very fragile. Are all very dependent to us. And could do nothing for us. Naalala ko po ang aming exchange gift ng aming family. Noon po, pag nag-exchange gift kami, lahat kasali, pati yung mga bata, kasali sa exchange gift. Hanggang sa magreklamo po yung mga kapatid ko, sabi nila, Kuya, pwede bang baguhin natin yung Christmas exchange gift natin? Bakit? Lugi kami! Kasi, pati dun sa mga anak namin, kami yung nagbabayad daw ng pag-exchange gift. Kita natin, ano? They're defenseless. They could do nothing unless we support them, unless we are behind them. Kaya nga ang tanong, paano? Paano niya tayo itatawid? Paano ang isang sanggol na itatawid tayo sa ating mga sitwasyon? sa mga bagay-bagay na gusto nating tawirin. Paano? Paano magkakaroon ng Pasko? Ang batang Jesus, ang batang manunubos, ay merong isang mensahe sa ating lahat. At yung mensahe na yon ang magtatawid sa atin sa kahit ano pa mang pinagdadaanan natin ang mensahe ng pagmamahal. Pagmamahal. Ang dala-dala ng baby Jesus sa buhay natin ay ang pagmamahal ng Diyos. Biruin nyo. Biruin nating lahat. Diyos na makapangyarihan Hindi niya tayo kailangan. Pero nagpakumbaba. Isinilang na isang sanggol. Defenseless. Very fragile. Could not do anything productive for us. Pero bakit? Kasi mahal niya tayo. Kasi mahal ka niya. At yun ang mensahe niya sa ating lahat na magtatawid sa atin sa kahit ano pa mang pinagdadaanan natin. Pagmamahal. Kung tutuusin, tama nga naman. Kung merong galit, kayang pahupain ng galit sa pamamagitan ng pagmamahal. Kung merong puot sa ating mga puso, kayang tugunan ng pagmamahal na merong pagpapatawad. Kung merong nangangailangan, kaya nga naman tugunan ng pagmamahal na merong pag-aaruga. Kung merong nawawala sa landas, kaya nga naman tugunan ng pagmamahal na merong pagagabay. Kahit ano pa mang pinagdadaanan natin, kayang tawirin ng pagmamahal. Ngunit ang pagmamahal na yan, kailangang manahan sa ating mga buhay. The Word must become flesh and dwell among us. Nang sa gayon, kahit anong pinagdadaanan natin, 
matatawid. Kapag ang ating ugali sa pagmamahal ay anong magagawa ng pagmamahal? Meron ba yung productive na magagawa sa akin? Baka kawawa lang ako dyan. Baka maaapi lang ako niyan. Para na rin nating sinasabing ano ang magagawa ng sanggol na Jesus sa mga buhay natin? Para na rin nating sinasabing ano pa ang halaga ng Pasko? Do you see what I see? Do you hear what I hear? Pasko na nga po ba sa mga buhay natin? Nakatawid na po ba tayo? Meron po bang pagmamahal? Pagmamahal na nakaluklok sa mga buhay natin. Pagmamahal na, mag, na magtatawid sa atin kahit ano pa mang pinagdadaanan natin. Pagmamahal na magpapanatili sa ligaya ng Pasko sa mga buhay-buhay natin. Araw-araw, minuminuto, sigusigundo ng buhay natin. Do you see what I see? Do you hear what I hear? Maligayang Pasko po sa ating lahat. Magsitayo po tayong lahat. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. Please all kneel. Please stand. For our sake, sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Our hearts are filled with joy on this Christmas day when we commemorate and relive in ourselves the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. With trust-filled hearts, let us address our petitions to the Father who gave us His only Son. In every repetition, let our answer be, Most loving Father, hear our prayer. Most loving Father, hear our prayer. For the Church, the home of all believers, may she enjoy days of peace, and may holiness flourish and abundantly in all her members. Let us pray. Most loving Father, hear our prayer. For the Holy Fam Father, our bishop, the priests who work in our parish and their generation, generous collaborators. May the joy of this day bring them the strength they need to continue serving the people of God. Let us pray. Most loving Father, hear our prayer. For our civil authorities and all those in whose hands is the fate of billions of people. With the Christmas ideals of peace and brotherhood constantly guide their decisions. Let us pray. Most loving Father, hear our prayer. For our families, especially 
the ones that may be undergoing severe crisis. May the spirit of Christmas enable them to overcome all difficulties. Let us pray. Most loving Father, hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray. Most loving Father, hear our prayer. Lord God, you are the source of our hope and salvation. May this Christmas produce in our hearts a lasting disposition of joy and peace until we celebrate it in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand up. Pray, my dear friends, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Make acceptable, O Lord, our oblation on this solemn day, when you manifested the reconciliation that makes us wholly pleasing in your sight and inaugurated for us the fullness of divine worship. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the feast of this off-field mystery, though invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours, and begotten before all ages, he has begun to exist in time, so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation, and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration, we acclaim.
seen. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saint Dominic and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand up. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to pray.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace be with you. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, the Son of Mary. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please all stand. Let us pray. Grant, O merciful God, that just as the Savior of the world, born this day, is the author of divine generation for us, so he may be the giver even of immortality, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Bago po tayo magtapos ng ating misa, ako po ay magpapasalamat sa ating lector, sa ating commentator, sa ating acolytes, sa ating Eucharistic ministers, sa ating usher, sa ating choir, at sa inyong lahat po na nakiisa sa misang ito. Maraming maraming salamat po. In behalf po ng aming community dito sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary Manawag, mga kaparian at ang aming mga, mga kasama sa simbahan, ay binabati po kayo ng Merry Christmas po and Happy New Year. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We all go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and the blessing of our rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oils, and other religious articles, our devotees and pilgrims, be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.